brought to you by Kaya Herb House. Respect the roots. So, uh, Knock, what's happening with you, bro? Oh, no, what you got going? We, we go, we go back, man. Let them know yeah. we go back from a, a minute, man. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a little young G, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I used to, you were still a G back then. Oh bro. yeah, you know how it ends, man. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you ain't gonna talk about how your ass was bad as fuck when you saw it. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a younger man, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, which we, a whole lot of stuff. We get, we get, we get, we, I ain't gonna say we get, oh, we get mature now. Very much. We, that's, yeah, that's we get wise. Yeah, we definitely do. I even, I even noticed that in some of the music I'm starting to make. I'm like, damn. Like, okay, okay. So let's talk been, about that. You're still doing some music right now. Uh, you know. But, but let them know, because you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of fans that may come from the different walks of the earth and from yeah. different ages and stages. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, let them know as far as where you come from. Not you who know, you work with. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, well, the best of the best and the Dr. Dre's, the Snoop yeah. Dogs, the Missy. And, well, uh, you know, I have a few of my personal questions and feels that I, since I got my OG here. Right. And uh, it goes back to where I was young and I always used to hear and think. And you could school them mm-hmm. and take them back down memory lane. But I was like, hey, damn, you know what I mean? Not, you know, he's from LB. And like, where was they hiding this jewel when Pops was running around? Cause you, right. you still, you, you around Snoop's age as well, right? You know, yeah, what I mean? he's, what older, he's a little older than me. Oh, he, he, got, he, got you. Me, he got me by about four what, years. About Warren. Warren, yeah, I was around them, but they, you know, I, I was, I was usually the 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 nigga on the block freestyling. But they kept that jewel, like you know what I mean, like. But, but I was, I was really just freestyling. Like I wasn't really like really serious, serious about, about it. I was okay. out there. Talking about who turn is it? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Be a little bad knucklehead, you know what I mean? I hear you. But I really wasn't that serious about it. Like, okay. you know what I mean? I, I really didn't even know that I really had it. And people be like, see, people start saying, like, man, why don't you go to the studio? Why don't you go, you know? And the first person I ever dealt with that actually got me to go to the studio with, is Amai from, okay. from Long Beach. You know what I mean? And I, I, he the one that made me go to the studio and made, st- made me start rapping. But a lot of people don't even know that. The first dude I was ever in the studio with was my, you know, wow. was back in the day when I was young. I'm not kidding me. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And that's the first dude I ever went to the studio with. You know what I mean? But I didn't really like think it was going to turn into what it turned into. You know what I'm saying? I, and then when I got, I went to the pen because I was, I was a knucklehead, but. Uh huh. As we all, as we all had our bumps. And when I, then when I got out of there, um, I, I was talking, messing with this dude named Mark Sparks. He, he, who, Happy Roots and stuff like that, like. Yeah. yeah but I really didn't fit into his program because you know he'd be doing neo soul music and stuff like that. He came out with Sunshine, the female artist Sunshine. He came out with Anthony Hamilton, like you know what I mean. So, but what he did was he he the one that put me around Dre yeah. and helped me uh, create the shit with LA Confidential. You know what I mean with Big D. And um, so like you know at first you know I I was gone, I was there because Dre wanted to sign somebody new, and you know I asked Dre I was like. How many people you got signed to average man? He's like, oh, like about 250. I looked at him, I shook my head. I was like, wow. Okay, so, so let me let me let me pause you, not to cut right. you off, but let's lo- the you know, let's go back when you say you wasn't serious with this. Was this what, around the death row era? Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't serious. Wasn't serious and nah, thought about I, it. Even if they know that you're busting in the hood. Yeah, but I was a little young hustler. I didn't care about no damn. All of that. Man, yeah. I could make money a lot faster than that. That's all. Uh, I, I heard that's that. It. I heard that's that. That. <laughs> that shouldn't take too long. What you mean it's going to take nine yeah. months? <laughs> nine months to get a publishing check. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, how much that be that main residual? We, we got to do yeah. the numbers and see what the budget. Yeah, well, make, we took out the budget and we uh, yeah, I'm like, like, yeah. I make about 500 to a rack a day. Y'all got me fucked up. All the way. How long you want me to be at the studio? Oh, nigga. Get it. Oh, I hear you getting it. I hear you, brother. Okay, that's yeah, the real, the thorough. <laughs> yeah, but I had hustled before I had rap. So when I when I finally got into the industry, like one thing that my dad said, he was like, you know, you got an opportunity to get out of the hood and do what you're supposed to do. He was like, treat the rap game like you treat, you know, hustling and gangbanging. Treat it the same way. With the same intensity you treated that, treat the rap game the same way and you'll make it. And I was like, whoa, that was a cold statement. And he was like, don't treat it like it's just Something you try to do as a hobby or something like that, you know. Treat treat it like you treat these blocks, and treat it like you treat your hustle. Like I was like, okay, Paul, all right, I get it. You know what I mean, so that was like very pertinent for me. And somebody that helped me really, God rest his soul, develop my voice and as far as like using myself and insert myself into the business. As far as like doing what the track tell me to do and not what I, what I want to do on the yeah. track, it was Nate Dog, God rest his soul. Wow. He was like, man, you got you to gotta get to search yourself into the track. What you do is you find the sound in the track that stands out and you follow it yeah. and you stick to that. He was like, don't just, because he was like, man, you, you got bars and everything else. Everybody know you got bars. I'm like, 
Do like ins- insert yourself like an instrument into the song. Don't don't just do whatever you want to do on the beat just because you feel like the beat sound good. And that was a very pertinent point and a very good fact that he gave me because from that moment on, dealing with Dre and writing with Dre and all this other stuff, I started developing a, a, a different lingo about how how I did stuff. I was trying to get in between the beat instead of just being on top, top of it. Though. You know what I mean? Like you know you know the difference. Punch, baby. So it's like, but it wasn't. Like it wasn't until like after the crying, I was, that was, I was happy to be on that the crying two thousand one. But it wasn't until Dr. Dre like, actually was doing the movie with Snoop Dogg, and like, and they, they needed the watch soundtrack. And it wasn't until then that I actually was like, "Whoa, this is crazy!" Like, and I, of course, I never expected to be in the limelight or anything. I mean, I, people don't understand. I you ever thought it was weird that. Excuse me, Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg made a movie. Oh, and the first single that came out was me. You hear me? The first single that came out was me on Bad Intentions. Like, Intentions but, yeah. that, but that was their movie. I'm not even in the movie. You know what I mean? I was too busy helping do the soundtrack. You feel oh. me? So, like, I don't know, man. I, and, and How was that process, working on that soundtrack? It was fun. I mean, like, it was tedious, but it was fun. You know what I mean? It was like... And and I and where I was living at in Sherman Oaks, the studio, I could walk straight down the alley and straight you right and go there. straight to the studio. So, yeah, you know I mean, go straight straight to the studio right That's there, right. record one. So I, I I was there all the time, all the time. You know what yeah. I mean, I stayed there. I was, you know, I'm a studio rat. I like going to the studio. Yeah, at this I, time. Yeah, yeah, I just I, yeah, at that point in time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But well, because really, I really didn't have. First of all, I'm living in Sherman Oaks. I don't know nobody out there, so. I ain't got nothing else to do but go to the studio. I can't go over to Black Chill with the homies. I can't. Real talk. <laughs> it's like, that's a long drive. Real talk. <laughs> so I, were, I those, were those common thought processes in? Did you get, huh? like, get, did you ever go back down memory lane to where it's like, man, I'm putting in too many hours in this motherfucker? No, I like, I, I, I actually appreciated the fact that, you know, I was needed in a different way. You know, I, like, when you needed it on, on, on that, on a different level, Real it was talk. like, like I gotta do this shit again. Like I'm just like, you know what I mean? Like fuck, man, come on now. Start getting tired of that shit. Like, but this was something new. I, I wasn't, I wasn't getting tired of that shit at all. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, shoot. y'all need me at the studio when? Two, two o'clock. Okay, I'll be there at one thirty. One to real talk. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna be there late. I'm gonna be there early, waiting on you to get there. Real talk. <laughs> what would you say that was the the real first sixteen that you wrote that Dre paid attention to? Out of high two. I think it was probably the Bang Bang. Bang Bang, uh-huh. Yeah. And then, and you know, it, he's so funny. Dre's crazy. So, like, I, I rapped the Bang Bang song to him on, on, that came out on The Chronic 2001. And so I went in there to go rap it. And then he was like, knock, knock. I was like, what's up, Dre? He was like, hey, man, you dope. I said, yeah, yeah. Good looking out, man. You know, uh, you want to finish this song? He said, yeah, you dope, but out of the vocal booth. I said, what the fuck this, what the fuck are you just saying to me? Out of the boat. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> so I go in, I was like, <laughs> so I went in there, I'm like, Drake, man, what are you talking about, man? He's like, the same way you rap that shit in here, you're not rapping it the same way on the mic, Microphone, bro. Microphone, yeah. He's like, you sound like a fucking robot. Like, you don't sound right. I'm like, what? So I do the pen and the pad, pad down, and that's how the verse Bang Bang came out. I didn't even want the pen and pad no more. I just went uh, in there and freestyled that shit. Uh, I was like, fuck it. Was, oh, that's right. But it was, it was, you know, dealing with Dre is fun, bro. Like, cause uh-huh. anybody that say they don't like Dre, this, this, and that, it's because Dre ain't fucking with him. <laughs> if he ain't Very fucking with him, he just, he just ain't fucking with you. That's Very like, true. if somebody say fuck you, that's just because you ain't fucking with them. You know what I mean? It's like, if, if somebody say fuck me, it's because I ain't fucking with him. You fuck that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure you feel the same way about you. Because like, you wouldn't be saying that if you didn't. Yeah, I hear you. You know what I mean? It's crazy you say that, you know, I mean, being around them. See a lot of lot of where, points where people messed off and fucked up while you was. Oh, yeah, I seen a whole yeah. lot of people fuck it up with Dre. It's like, I understand the level of respect that they needed to have for a man of his nature and, and of his status. Like, I was always, like, the fly on the wall. I just be, be the dude in the background writing for Dre, doing what I have to do. And people were like, ask Dre, who is this nigga? What do he do? Dre was like, oh, he, he here for me. Don't worry about him. I was being cut with a pen and pad writing for Dre. Right for Jay, like, you know what I mean? It was like, I watched a lot of people come through them doors 
And then next thing you know, Larry, Larry Chapman, he's a good guy. He he Larry be like, hey, Dre, such and such is at the door. And then Dre be like, tell him it's it's a closed session. And they and it, it it'd be like be in there, Warren, Snoop, like it'll be a gang of people in there. Yeah, yeah. And Dre just don't he just don't let that person in. Yeah. So anytime somebody heard it's a closed session. Understand, it was closed for you because because yeah. because Dre didn't want you in there. Don't mean it with a bunch of people in there. You know what I mean? Right. Um, what about the DOC? You ever had any set? Oh, DOC songs is fun. You, yeah, that you guys work together. I, DOC and me worked together on, you, on my first record. Yeah, you know, you know, DOC brought Six Deuce. That, that's on the Chronic album too. He the one that DOC and, and Six Deuce showed up at the studio, and Six Deuce was brought from by by DOC. Okay. DLC is the one to introduce Six Deuce to Dre. Well, okay. Yeah. That's what's the deal, because they're both from Dallas. Yeah. I mean, so yeah. that's that's where Six Deuce came from, yeah. DLC. Yeah, okay. I mean, like, it's a lot of history in that. And DLC is so damn funny. He He's a jokester. And then uh, he gonna tell, tell, I remember when he told Dre, I'm about to come out with another album. And he was like, <laughs> he, and Dre was like, are you for real? And Deuce was like, eh. DLC was like, hell yeah. And it was like, all right, well, let's do some shit. And DLC went in there. He was still, he still got the lyrics and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's funny as hell. He be having me busted up loud. He don't give a fuck. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, people, one thing that people don't notice about DLC, if they ever pay attention to his, his lyrics and his album, he didn't want to be like um, NWA or anything like that. When, when he came out, he really didn't cuss. The, the worst cuss words that he said. Like damn or shit or something like that, but he didn't say motherfucker. He didn't, he wasn't talking about nigga this nigga that. He, I mean, like oh. if you pay attention and critique his album, the album that he came out with was like basically just very basically lyrical. You know what I mean? It was it's a big difference between it's like night and day when you look at the album with the music they was making in compared to what what DLC album sounded like. You know what I mean? And it was creative. Like it's the formula. Do 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 do. You know what I mean? Like oh, just the, yeah. You know what I mean. High energy, fooling with the wisdom. Uh, see what I'm saying? Yeah. It was. It, it wasn't no bunch That's of. My, yeah, it wasn't no was bunch of. Nigga, yes. It wasn't just. It wasn't just about sex, money, and drugs like yeah. a lot of these rappers rap it up or rap about today. And it was clear too. He wasn't mumble rapping like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. As, as, so, so to speak of that, what do you think of the the music of today's age? They making money, so what could you say about it? I heard that. Man. Listen to anybody of the, of new. Are the newest? Are the newest? The newest pair of music that you have that you turn in. That's in. That's in your box. On your playlist. That's 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 the the the, the newest person that's come out that I actually appreciate his music. And I ain't just trying to be funny. Then just because fuck with Dre is Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, because he actually makes sense when he's rapping. Like he and he and he pays attention to what he's saying. I like. You know how we are, man. He, like we we. We like conceptual music. We like stuff that actually makes sense. We just don't yes. want some all over the place. It's like, man, what the, where is you going with this song? Like, can I get some type of concept? Like, we just don't walk around listening to music that, that ain't making no fucking sense. That's what we don't do. If that shit ain't making no sense, we turn the shit off. Exactly, Mondo. Exactly, Mondo. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a break one minute. We're going to give a, a commercial break for our sponsor. Welcome to Kaya Herpaz. Enjoy this virtual tour of our one-stop shop. Going on, what's going on? We back, we back with a little easy TV with my homeboy Nocturnal, and uh, you know what it is. Everybody know what it is. We uh took a break, commercial break for our sponsors for the roll up hour, and right now is the time to get it cracking and go ahead and get into our different topics and different walks in life and what we do. But we're gonna do it while we nice and relax with the peace serve. That's how I get down. So I wanted to ask Cricket, Cricket, uh, Cricket, you said about uh. Crooked Eye. Yeah. Let's, yeah, talk talk to us about Crooked Eye. Oh, as you know. we sit here and light up. Yeah, fact, yeah. Before you get there, let's ask you now what you uh what's your preference of um of how you how you consume your 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 tree? Um 
You should be uh, you know, the bong guy with the, the okay. long bongs. Yeah, my lungs ain't so young no more. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, we back in the day we had the we had the King Titans, like you know what I mean. King like, Titans, what? There yeah, we go. And then so like Phillies. Yeah, yeah. yeah but that's that's. That's people before people even know. People don't even know what a Philly blunt is right now. I know more, yeah. Right. Right. I was way and, back. And we used to sit here and fill the, the motherfuckers the Titans, up. The Titans was like as big as a Cuban cigar. Cigar, yeah. yeah. So you can Split that up. motherfucker down the middle, yeah, yeah, get that glue line out, put it out, clip the back to it. Roll up a whole seven in that. A whole thing. Right. A whole thing. And, and pass it around and everybody be high. Yeah, for real, for now real. Now they, they smoke these Swisher Sweets. Them motherfuckers are so little. You be like, yeah, yeah. It, it, it don't even make it around once. Yeah, you better you not have four heads on it. I don't know. The last time I smoked it, you gotta take that to the neck. Yeah, coming from where we used to smoke at, that's just, that's too damn little. You might as well neck that. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in this time, you say right. hey, you had to roll up out. Everybody had their own tune. You right. get down, you you smoke, but you smoke. So I'm gonna sit here and give him some of the original ruthless. But right now we are gonna give him the Compton Blue. You know what I'm saying again, brought to you by original ruthless cannabis. You know, pop. Here we talk about some hip hop. We gonna get on to all this hip hop. Yes, indeed. So, uh, go ahead and get you this here. Blue, you know, I'm taking it back. Count the glue. That's a joint. I smoke joints. Yeah. You know I mean? Me too. No. Uh, I get down with uh, paper. Of course, we're gonna sit here and have some fun with this. But uh, also brought to you by Raw. You know what I'm saying? So when you get with that sponsor, you can also get some hip hop joints. Hip hop joints. Because I know I like papers. I I prefer the organic hemp ones. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because Lighter taste, you know, the hemp papers are classics. Uh, um, I prefer king size usually, but today I was running late, <laughs> so I got my little pocket rockets. You feel what I'm saying? But I guess they're gonna do what they do and we're gonna see how everybody feel. You feel what I'm saying? We're gonna right. knock some uh, before we leave. but I guess he right, got yeah. a, I see you got a blunt over there yourself. Uh, a paper, got, we got we got uh, the you know, like you said, the organic, the organic, the, the hemp, the hemp. I will do that. I will do some pimps. I do um so I wanted to, that's what I want to talk to you about, now, because is you still doing music to this time. Yeah, Talked yeah, about yeah. what you listen to new, which is Kendrick Lamar. Shout out yeah. to the homie from the city. Yeah. Um, and like you were saying earlier before the break, is uh you feel what I mean, just related to you know things that make sense. You feel what I mean? Right. right. Uh and 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 I just I just did something with Battle Cat. And I want to speak. Battle Cat is dope. Yeah, uh, we know, actually before, did a panel. Yeah, before I before I um go all the way linked in with Drake, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, and to tell you the truth, I'm the only one that got Dr. Dre to be on the Battle Cat beat. Is that right? It's called Doing the Most. It's Doing online the most. right now. And I, and, I, and I wrote that verse with Dre or whatever. And that's Battle Cat's beat. He, wow. Dr. Dre came to the studio where I was at to lace it up. Like, wow. You know what I mean? And Battle Cat was sitting right there. You know, I, that's right. I do stuff that people don't do. I bring people together. That's what I. That's what I'm. That's what I'm about. Yeah. Like you know, and I had asked Dre one time too as well. Why are you in DJ Quick? I ain't never did a song together. Like we talk, real talk, nah. And then, and then that's guess what? What did he say? I hollered that quick and asked him the same what thing. What did both of them say? I said, "What is it, like a producer thing?" Yeah, like, it, it, it's it, just like a it, when it, they both from the city. You feel yeah, what I'm I know. But but then but then when I asked him both, I was like, "Look, man." I was like, "Quick, man, why don't you just come to the studio?" And I told him where it was, whatever. He called, I told him what the number, and he called the studio, and and I told Dre, and "Quick was coming." He was like, "Cool." So then they, that's where it came up with with. The song put it on me. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I mean, sh- I, and I and I wrote, I wrote the grace of God. I was able to write Dre's lyrics, but you know, Dre, Dre is funny. He's like, that's the first time, first song me and Quick doing together. Don't let that nigga rip me. Don't let, <laughs> like, him, do me <laughs> like, don't let him do me. <laughs> in. Don't let him do me. You should have seen the look on Dre's face. It, it, it was like, nigga, I'm face. serious. Like, nigga, I, I'll fire on you. On the real, <laughs> I am serious about I'll this. I'll fire on you about this one. Like, For real, I ain't This is the first one we doing. <laughs> don't get fired on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I ain't mad at that one though. Yeah, you do not want that next nigga, especially yeah, right. from the city, to tell you up in the And you know, songs. Dre always working out, so I don't think I want a nigga to fire on me. I had to shoot that <laughs> nigga. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, speaking of this, that, here we go. Shit, that's how I was getting on the topic. But right. <laughs> speaking of uh, a shoot, not in that aspect, but right. me and Cat was at a at a, at a big glass. You know what I mean? Uh, from back in the days, <clears throat> the panel, hip hop for peace. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, Rap City, big lads. Well, you still beautiful. Well, boy, 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 I'll sit up there looking at. It. Excuse me, lads. <laughs> I said, like goodness, doing this panel, but we got up there, spoke about hip hop, and 
you know what I mean, the situation of hip hop now, you know, I didn't know, I didn't even know this myself, but they was telling me, and you know what I mean, in the last couple of months, or in, in this beginning, as a matter of fact, the beginning of this year, since the beginning of this year, we had 200 rappers. Yes. And, and then the tripped out part about it is, you know what I mean, you don't die on it because we might not know all these rappers, you feel right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, most of these rappers, you feel what I'm saying, are just, you know what I mean, be, be, you know, small independent individuals from different cliques, you feel what I'm saying, different parts of this, you know, the world, you know, different walks of life, you know, but really more so, you know, generated to the individuals doing what they call this drill music. So we got up there speaking on, you know what I mean, what could help and all that and the other, and it's just like, man, it just seemed like they just keep want to promote you feel what I'm saying? These niggas talking about riding on each other, sliding on each other. This is, but see, you gotta understand. This and I why, want your point of view. Yeah. This is me. this is why I would say um, social media is not good for some people. Oh. Because uh, you know, I'm not gonna get on social media. And, first of all, I'm not gonna get on social media and talk about another motherfucker. If I got something to say, I'm gonna say it in your face. And, and we're gonna fit, we're gonna I, figure I like it out. To from speaking there. from somebody who comes from the backgrounds we come from yeah, and change their lives yeah. and change themselves yeah, to so see I it mean, is. Because I'm not gonna sit up there. And then second of all, I'm not gonna sit up there and, and go on social media and snitch on myself. Talking about I see you and I see you and nigga. And, and, and they wonder why they, and they wonder why you in jail for life. You, oh, you, you know, it, build the whole such, case up on yeah, you. Yeah, because what, what, like, what if you didn't do nothing to that nigga and somebody else kill him? They're gonna come get you first. And, and that's, that shit gonna hold up in court, you stupid fuck. Yeah. Like, why would you even say, like, man, you the one said you was gonna kill him, so yeah. if you didn't do it, who'd you hire to do it? Motherfuckers is dumb, dumb as a box of rocks, and I think I'm disrespecting the box and the rocks. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Like, real talk, real like, talk. Like, like, why would you go on social media and blast yourself out? Yeah. Real talk. That don't, that don't even make sense to me. Like, yeah. if you're gonna ride, ride. Don't tell nobody what you're gonna do. And then pass, pass laws where they sit here and give the rights of Using everything on Facebook and everything to build yeah. a case up against you, and, and, and they're they gonna build about that. Around with a stick, talk about what you did, your cousin did, yeah, just some murders that was unidentified and wasn't solved. Now they got them. Yeah, my daughter had to tell me what a stick was. All this food talking about stick, stick, stick. Like, what the fuck? This nigga talking. I was like, what the fuck? They talking about nigga. I got the stick. You know? Stick. I said, I, and you know, my daughter's the greatest guy. She's about to be twenty one. My son's about right, to be eighteen. Right. To the that's right. God. All the way, all praise and, and, that's You know. Right. The craziest thing is, I had, you know, my daughter, she called, first of all, she called me computer. She was like, why your stupid ass get an iPhone? You don't even know how to work a computer right. Wow. Yeah, I was like, well, <laughs> damn. And so then, so then I was like, baby girl, what does computer mean? She said, that's my fucking point. Like, <laughs> 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 but then she finally told me, I said, is computer even a word? She said, it's a suffix, dad. It's, it's computer illiterate. Suffix, what? I was like, okay, let me, now I had to scratch my head. Let me remember what suffix mean. Man. Like, <laughs> yes, try to tell but, me about it, brother. I do this but, homework every night, man. And but figuring out all this stuff over again. Yeah. That's what I call it. Like, damn. So, so then I, I'm it, learning this shit again. My children, I got it. My children ain't never asked me to help them with their homework. Yeah. Like, I hear but that. they always ask their mom. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's like, Cause they, they, they be like, like they be like, hey, Dad, can you have it? Didn't I just buy you an iPhone? Every answer you want is on that damn phone. Why well, you asked me to help you with your homework? Yeah. I be like, Dad, are you for real? So I meet my dumb ass. I got an iPhone. I still don't know how to work that motherfucker. Like, man. <laughs> I know how to make a call. I know how to text. Don't be and wrong, I can answer. Bad. And they, I can answer social media. That's yeah. about it. <laughs> they told me the other day, like, Dad, you're not, you not updating your phone? I said, nah, uh, what you're do you not. Mean, update? What is update? Yeah, you know, <laughs> you had a screen to record. I said, I be getting a little thing update. I'm thinking it's some shit. They got to do with some governmental shit. I don't need right. to be doing that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, ain't serious? nothing wrong with this motherfucker. Yeah, I your phone. I said, I thought I'd update the motherfucking phone when I go get a 13. Right. Or 12. Right. Update is going to get 13, right? right. No, I don't want to update. Nah, right. they give you software updates. Right. So I'm like, okay, I understand it. Because you, you can't even screen record that. I said, right. I show can How you right. do that? You know what I mean? So don't get it wrong because I'd be the same way. You know what I mean? Like, damn, I don't know. I just, I, could, learned how to, I just learned how to do a screenshot. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, Doc. <laughs> oh, man, you can't man. tell me that ain't funny. I just learned how to do a screenshot. Man, man, You should have seen the, the look on my daughter's face when I was like, baby, how you sending a screenshot to my... She said, Dad, are you serious right now? I was like, yeah. She's like, why do you have an... Why do you even have an iPhone? Like, you need to go back to Android. <laughs> What's your purpose of, 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 of smoke? Not what you, what you like. You know, you got this new age, because back in the days in your age... And, you had things like the chronic. Right. You know, you had, you know what I mean, just, you know, good old Kush. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And now in this age, because I know a lot of those good Kushes left, 
from your generation that I, I probably yeah, got. You know, we, we had we had Rita, which I helped grow. We had Chief, which I helped grow. Like, wow, okay. I, I knew how to grow before. You did? Okay, you got out. Yeah, there you go. Snoop Dogg used to even tell me, you got some of that other shit you had, that Guido? Even 50 Cent talked about it. You know, I'm a smoker in that Guido. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, so when you when you think now though, what what, what would you say is, is 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 equivalent to that in this day and age of of, 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 of certain dispensaries you go to, or are you back to the growing your own shit? And... Well, I I know how to grow, but it's it's time consuming. You gotta like really be. You gotta, with it, you like, gotta really love that motherfucker like a yeah, child. Yeah, yeah. You gotta so give it like, attention. I'll give the shout-outs to the growers, I, every grower. You feel what I'm saying? Anybody that, you know what I'm saying, that made a strain, you know what I mean, got, you know, twerked them different terps, and all that, I give respects to you. Yeah. I met a lot of them, you feel what I'm saying? Just uh, yeah. you know, from a cure company, uh, they know what it is, but I give shots out to them, but it's time-consuming, not. You right. know what I'm saying? You got to really take care of it. And if you don't, you know what I mean, it's like you lose those Skywalker strains. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, you right, lose right. those. And, and you lose the potency. You know and, what I mean? and if the weed come out wrong, the seeds is gonna be less potent, so you can't even regrow it. Like you know what I mean? That's like, man. But uh, they, the funniest weed that I bought that was actually good, I just bought it just because the name it was called Pink Pussy. Pink Pussy is that by Pink? Is yeah, it by Pink? I think so. A company called Pink. Yes, wow. I think so. But it, it and but it was just funny. I just bought it just because the name. I thought the shit was funny as fuck. Yeah, it was actually some good weed, and then. They got some other shit called did, Royal, did you, Royal OG. Like, Royal OG. Yeah. You like, because you, okay, so you want to Well, because my the... name is Royal. That's why I bought it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's definitely, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to put all that on these tags. But everybody, you know what I'm saying? You see it in the Google and check up on that. Right. You know it like, hey, Royal Individual. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, that's just Royal crazy. blood. <laughs> and it was crazy, too, when I was growing up. My dad used to always say, and I used to wonder why he said, son, one day you're going to see your name in lights, nigga. I didn't name you Royal for nothing. Real talk. I just didn't, I just didn't know it was going to say Nocturnal. Well, like, <laughs> I thought talk. I was gonna actually say Royal. Royal. You feel what I'm saying? But look at yeah, wow, good manifestation, bro. Right. I ain't playing with you. He said one day you're gonna see your name in life. I didn't know it was gonna be the character I created for myself to make money. Yeah. You feel me? Like, hey, whatever, whatever's clever, Jack. Real talk. You know what I mean? Real talk. That is right, it's bro. Fun. Well, yeah. So you stick back to them to those natural ones, them OGs. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I just, I just like, I, I, I just like some as good because, because I, you know. I grew up, I was hyperactive, all that shit. They wanted to put me on Ritalin or whatever. My dad wouldn't let him do it. He was like, fuck Good shit, that. yeah. Like, just let him be whoever he's gonna be. Yeah. And so, like, you know, I got, a, I had ADHD. I got ADD still. Like, it's hard for me to sit still. So, I, I, when I smoke some weed, I just want some weed that's gonna make me be able Action. to relax and focus. Oh. You know what I mean? I don't want no sleep. No indica. Yeah, I don't want no sleep no weed. Indica. I don't want no hyper weed. I want some weed that's gonna make me sit down and focus. You feel what I'm saying? That's right, so, brother. So anybody got a strand of weed, you might want to name it. If it's calm me down, name it Focus. Focus, <laughs> what? <laughs> you might have the pattern now to keep it here, man. You know what I mean? Focus OG. <laughs> man, real talk. Focus OG. Real. I like that. Right. Hey, he got on to something there. We're going to sit here and have it and go through the Roots of Rupert's dis right. hey, distribution fact, and, uh, and, and just give it us knock. Yeah. Big A. Hey, call it that. Pattern that <laughs> shit right now before we go off air. <laughs> 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 yeah, real talk. But uh, that's right. So uh, what about sports, Knock? You know what I mean? I do a segment called Sports Talk One-on-One. -on -one, yeah. I want to sit here and get a knock turtle's brain about, you know, you know what I mean, our current events in sports. What's going on? So uh, what's your what's your preference of sports that you watch? Do you watch sports? Yeah, I just, you know, I just, uh, how could I say this in a polite way? You I, need, I need LeBron's son to hurry up and get on the basketball team so he can retire so the Lakers will do better. So you a Lakers fan, <laughs> so that we gonna take it at you. You riding with the show? Yeah, yeah. You, you love. We'll give it up. Give it up for knock riding right. with the show. You know, That's a show supporter, a show yeah. fan. So we, we gonna give our love and support. Y'all know how we do with the community, man. You know, cause uh, with football, you know, of course, I'm a, I'm a Steelers fan. Well, you know why that is. I, you know, so come on, other, come on. We don't gotta tell us where it's. It's a Long Beach thing. You know? Tell it where it got to it, it, it's, it's a Long Beach thing. It's, if you if you saying it, then you wearing Raiders. If you dubbing it, then you wearing Pittsburgh. Yeah, there you so, go. I mean, Let them know. Let them know. So that that's that's my team because I grew up wearing it. But like I love the fact that the Rams actually did it at home. Yeah, when the Super Bowl was at home. Like, yeah, that's cool. You know what I mean? mean? I just I just still can't support them. I, I'm a 49er. I I, 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 I was tempted. 
to go like buy a Rams jacket from the swap meet. I, mean, I wasn't gonna pay for a real one. <laughs> I wasn't gonna pay for a real one. Like, I was gonna go to the swap meet. Get, 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 get all, all the corner, all the corner yeah. at, 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 at right. Let me get. Five. Let me hey, get one. Hey, come here, brother. You selling get, sweaters? Yeah, yeah. Got, yeah let me get one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Let me. Let me. Or, or the dude that got the the canopy sitting outside mm-hmm. with the Rams shirt. Yeah, let me get one. Fuck it. I want. Mm-hmm. But you know what? The whole the whole point being is. A homeboy Jeremiah out there doing it. Jay, I see right. you. Yeah. This is hustling out there with them uh, hot box. You're handing your candles. <laughs> what power to you? Shit. But okay, so the Lakers, now I heard you say it. You know what I mean? So we're going to talk about it, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's been some dark hours, and I, I say it all the time, and I'm going to ask not this right now. Do you feel at times, us being Laker fans, that we spoiled and we always looking for, you know, the limelight? Or do you expect the market that we in? which is some of my opinions that I'm shooting out and some mm-hmm. of my feelings. The market that we in, we should always keep a team that is like that because of the fact that it's L.A. I think that the market that we in, uh, basically, like, first of all, our, our division is not easy. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's recently have not gotten easy. Yeah, basically. but, you know, like... Real talk. But, you know, the, People don't speak on that. Yeah, but um, don't speak on that. The, thing, the thing being about the Lakers is Everybody wants to be the star. Like no, it's too many Chiefs and not enough Indians. Indians, what? You know what I mean? What? Like, Talk to them, bro. People, like you know, you watch the, we, we watch them, and then they always having a fourth quarter meltdown. A oh, fourth because it's the is it the legs? Is the oldness? No, it? it's because everybody want everybody want to be the one. That, oh, we kept them in the game. Oh, the game winning shot. Everybody want to be like, oh, is that right? He hit in the fourth quarter, and like they throwing up stupid, worthless shots in the fourth quarter. I mean, yeah. you don't take a rocket scientist to figure out in the fourth quarter, work as a team. It's like yeah. you've been doing for three quarters. You stayed in the game for three quarters working as a team. Why aren't you doing it in the fourth quarter? Oh, you want to get them highlights. Now you're worried about highlights and shit. You know what I mean? Come you. on, now play as a team the whole game. That's true. And now, I mean, because you feel like it's too many, it's prima donnas, it's individuals that sit. Well, we have a young squad, though. Not, I know, but, but we they, have, still, they still trying to find themselves. I'm not mad at the squad. I'm mad at that, that everybody... I feel like it's a selfish squad. I hear you. I hear you. Know you. I mean, nobody's out for the. I, I, it need to be more individuals that's out for the team look, play. Do they look like they practicing to you? They, they look, look like, like they, they look jail. like they got the practice squad in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna knock you. Hey, hey. He fairly said it. I be holding on to these motherfuckers. I be holding on to the Lakers, man. <laughs> betting on them, betting that on, betting on them, man. And they, yeah, they, man. they, all oh, they hurt my feelings, man. But against teams like the Rockets, we lose to teams like the Rockets. You know what I'm saying? That type of stuff don't even make sense. You feel me? <clears throat> now, okay, here we go. We say we got stuff to say like this. I was always playing poker with an individual, and his son was behind him, and he turned around and said, "Hey, you." Just a uh, LeBron hater. You know what I mean? That's the greatest man that played ball. Oh, his pops was an OG. Right. And I said, Pops, and I said, uh, damn, you riding on your son. I said, okay, let me hear me out. You know what I'm saying? Why do you feel LeBron is the GOAT? I mean, I told him I want him to hear him out. How do you feel? Because he chew on grass and hate like his pop did. I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> I just grew up with Jordan, man. So I just feel like Jordan is it. You know what I mean? I, I feel like you can't Michael, take it away. Michael, Michael J, hands down. You can't take it away from the, the individual that, that ultimately gave it to you. It's the ultimate. Ultimate, right. so. No matter mm. what, even if you didn't like the Chicago Bulls, you turn the TV on just to watch George. George. So, you know what I mean? But it, but you feel like LeBron is the greatest of all time playing, the greatest player playing right now? Well, right now, currently, no, but his entire career, yes. Yes. His entire career, yes. Currently, Nah, he lost a step, but he's still brawling. He's still putting up 50. He still put up 50. I hear you. I hear Back you. To, you I feel, mean, do you feel he's what? a better player than Kevin Durant? Um, um, yeah. 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 A LeBron fan. Mm-hmm. Not a Laker yeah. fan. Yeah. LeBron I'm fan. A, I'm a Laker. Durant, Durant okay. is more. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, oh, so you love, you love the, oh, you go from yeah, the showtime. showtime. I like that. I'm so you, you, did you like the process of him coming here? Because I hear Knox saying that he waiting for his son to graduate. So they can go to what? Are you feeling they're going to go to Cleveland? Yeah, he probably going to. If, if Cleveland, whoever gets uh, LeBron James' son, whoever gets his son, that's where he going. He going to go there and play with his son, as he should. Yeah, I hear you. You know what I mean? So, I mean, okay. what the Lakers might want to think about is leave a budget for his son if they still want him there. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. That definitely does. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm. A, I'm 110 percent feel you. Feel you all the way to sit here and be the plan playing long enough to where your son come in the league and you go. You do it. But I just feel like you don't want to. Yeah. Now, you're not just hanging over. At the top. top. He, he did. He definitely planned. The, the goat yeah. is a strong yeah. word, but he is. He is one of the the, the, the best players. The best player I ever seen. He, yeah, I Jordan, I seen him with my two eyes. We seen Jordan. You might we seen Jordan with our two eyes, man. We seen him go play baseball, come back and do it again. You know what I mean? That man just yeah, he he told me up. I, I was I cried when the nigga went to play baseball. I was a kid. Like, what had he not playing no more and came back and made us all happy as kids? He was a superhero to us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Jordan was a superhero to us. Oh, Colgan type shit, nigga. But this is a brother. This is a brother. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that that's just how I feel with with Jordan. Is just, and nigga jump from the free throw in a game on you and dunk. And got when when did everything that he can to go. It's about Jordan winning. <clears throat> and then now you take it to say Jordan. I go back and I say the next in my in my in my, my lineup, Kobe Bryant. Why? Because. Fact of you had that same killer instinct to yeah. win, yeah. and Over. you know, and you know what? If you think about it, Jordan criti- helped critique Kobe Bryant. Kobe, Kobe, you know Kobe would say that <clears throat> the moves you that mean? you see me doing, who you think I got these or learned these moves from? Yeah. Right, and he had to convince and, me. And, and Jordan Not helped. Soul, Kobe had Jordan, to convince Jordan, me. Yeah, Jordan helped teach him the fadeaway. You hear me? Yeah, he had to convince me. Kobe when didn't have fadeaway at first. Nigga, I believed in it, yeah. and then the nigga did what he had to do when he's young. Jack left him, and then he came back and did it again. Yeah. With who? Nobody in the top 75. Right. He won them two championships with nobody in the top 75. Right. He had to go all ball hog. He had to Even go back I'm, to the beginning of his career. The all of them ain't been on no top yeah. 70. Bynum and them right. ain't no top 70, Feezy. None of that. You feel what I'm saying? None right. of, you know what I mean? Right. And you look at everybody else, they had somebody that was in the top 75 when they won right. the championships. Kobe said, I'm just going to do this shit myself. And that, was, that right like, there is like the next. Yeah. Come on. That's the next go to me. And then, Jordan, Jordan got heart. Kobe, what? Kobe. Ain't no heart. Ain't no heart. Knock, I heard you say when he, um, like LeBron, follow with us. As a I don't, <clears> I don't <throat> think that is as hard as into it like it used to be. You know what I mean, I think he's ready. Even when he I went think for fifty six the other night. No, nah, he thing? just he he did that just 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 to prove a point. Like for people like me, they say he ain't got it still. Like you know what I mean. But he still got it when he feel like it. It's not the same intensity as it used to be. Can you understand what I'm saying? When people start talking bad about him, then he want to step up. And, and you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, it's sure. not like it's not like it used to be when he just did it every game, regardless. You know what I mean? It's like when he, when he sit, hear something bad or the media or the, the commentators or whatever start talking shit about him. That's when he want to step up the next game. He's not doing it every game like he used to. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying he's a bad player by far. I'm just saying, I think what he's really waiting for is for his son to get there so he could, he could retire after that. Go ahead and do what he got to do. And he go ahead and play with his son ways. for a year so and then he retire. What do you think about our and, that, and, that, and that's... And Anthony Davis. And that's going to be... Uh, hold on, but that's going to be something that's going to be epic in the NBA. Is a father playing with his son? Who's ever oh, done that? Real talk. Epic. I mean, come on now. Epic. He's going go to he go go in the, down in the history books for that. Yeah, he definitely got. He's just I mean, talking about a man that is, it is 30 plus years old. He is playing at his he, highest level still. He, he, I do understand that, but it's not all prime his fault when we got stars with him. But I, I think, I think, I don't think he's done yet. I think if people get out of his way a little more and let him do what he knows how to do, he'll shine. Like, it's just like he's, all, he, all he could do is with the co- what? Oh, well, sure. That's another thing because it's, it's limiting. It's, it's limiting. Not taking care of his body. His mobility. He's not taking care of his body. <clears throat> that's what it is. Not taking care of his body because before you that young, always oh, that young. You know when we were young, we was able to sit here and come. Oh, you know I mean, no, no, yeah, you know, I, I, could, I could, I could do a front front flip off a roof. Onto a mattress and bust my face and get back up and do it again like it wasn't nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, and we'll still be able to bounce back. But he's right. he's, do, he's he's not doing something with this with this with this body that everybody else. Well, he making enough money for it. Making enough money for it. Le- LeBron just he LeBron came said in it costs him a million dollars a year to take care of his body. Yeah, 
LeBron is just a monster. Anthony Davis could do the same thing to take care of his body. And the limbs just feel like, you know, he don't have, like, excruciating, I mean. It's the exercise. It's the trainer. They have ways of exercising, like, because, okay, a guy named Harold, back when I was healthier, the younger nocturnal, and I was working out uh, before I got hit by a car. (laughs) We're going to talk about that later. But, uh, yeah, I... A guy named Harold, who used to be Paul Pierce's uh, trainer on all on, on Paul Pierce when he wasn't working with him, he was training me, and like he had, he wouldn't let me do nothing but supersets, and he had me do different stretches and different stuff. I, I didn't understand what those was for, but it was it was for my mobility and different things. Like you know what I mean, and and that's what I started getting on like the, you know the mask, magic basketball star star shows like you know what I mean playing. I didn't realize what it was for. Like yeah. it's about your mobility and how you balance. And Anthony Davis need to get somebody that teaches him how to balance himself better when he's coming down or when he's planting or something. You know what I mean? Like it's got to be a structure to that. You can't just go up and dunk all crazy and not know how to come down. Down right? on it, yeah, very, very mm-hmm. much, very much. So it's you know about you know taking care of your body. Indeed. <clears throat> but yeah, that's right, that's right. Now can you say you know still it? So we we going back. Throw that heart like he is with the Lakers, man. Appreciate well, we it, man. Need, we, we need the Steelers. To, we need Worthless Burger to retire. Oh, he's done. Yeah. Uh, you guys, yeah, yeah, y'all got y'all just pick up Michael Trubisky. Yeah, that might be a good. Or thing. Mitchell, Mitchell Trubisky, Mike Trubisky, whatever. You know Trubisky. what? Picked him he, up as a quarterback. Anybody that have the game winning touchdown in a Super Bowl over Tom Brady, and you down at the three yard line. And you throw an interception in the end zone with seven seconds left, they should have beat the shit out of that fool. He should he should even <laughs> made it back to the locker room. They should have just whooped his ass on the field. Oh my goodness. I'm for real. I Are you, you over Tom Brady? I hear you. And y'all could have won and you threw you. an interception in the end zone at the three yard line? I hear you. He should even made it back to the locker room. They should have stomped you. his ass out on the damn field. I hear you. I'd be glad I wasn't on the team. I went to jail today. That day, Jack, that would have been a jail day for me. I'd been bailing out and lost my NFL contract and everything. Like, I, he'd have got it. I heard that. <laughs> they could have you in NFL. Nah, uh, I, I couldn't. See man, I, he'd got whooped on that day, Jack. He, right. he, it'd have been like one of them situations where we that soccer team. I ain't going to say their name. And fool, that fool was, missed that goal at the end for the championship. Oh, you can say that. And that fool, the soccer team. What's yeah, and that fool did not make it to the plane. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we might not say that. Right. <laughs> yeah, we might not say that. Yeah, that fool did not make it to that plane, Jack. Oh, hey, I was like, whoa. Hey, yeah, they, they didn't like the fact that he let that goal go. That's right. That's right. Well, man, that's Sports Talk one-on-one. You know what I mean? Knocking us what he, you know, he's talking about. Got the Lake Show at heart in him. Yeah. The Pittsburgh Steelers fans, so that's what it is. But uh, uh, I appreciate you, Knock, for coming. You feel me? I appreciate you, you know, for showing up on a little ETV. I appreciate you for coming through, my nigga, seeing you. I haven't seen you in a minute, man. Uh, you was telling me that you he got some new stuff going on, you know what I mean? Some new yes, stuff sir. coming out. He's still yeah. spitting, still doing his thing. And uh, yeah. I got a personal question myself before we go. You, you ever thought about you still write for individuals? Yeah, whenever they need it. That's all right. That's right. That's that's, that's a given. Like, I'm, I, you know, I'm always here to help, man. No matter who, if people need help, like, just like, even though I got a lot of young cats, like, even Measy, you know, like, and different people like just like they they still sharp still they they help me stay current. I help them balance themselves when it comes yeah. to music. Yeah, that's you right. know what I mean. That's right. Okay. Okay, there Shout you go. Miss Toy, Miss Toys on there. Toys. They That's did. Right. We could do it. Put you back into it. She sang yeah, a hook and did yeah. a verse. Yes, indeed. I mean, and okay. she and she sang everywhere I go. All I've seen to here is on the chronic. Bang bang yeah, bang bang. What? So yes, I mean, you know, yes, she's on yes, there. So yes. the album, is, the album is gonna be a good. That sounds good. So yeah, what? Where can they find? Where, where would they find it at? Let them know. It's going. It's going. It's going to be out in June. Uh huh. Uh, that's mm-hmm. our. That's our expected date. No later than July fourth. Uh, Instagram to... that they find. I know your daughter said you bad with the thing, but yeah. you just told me you at least uh, do post uh, on Instagram or do something Royal, so let the people Royal, know. Royal, my, my name is my Instagram. Okay. My, my right. legal name. My name is Royal, Royal Harbor. Yeah. So that's my Instagram. And that's, that's my right. Facebook as well, Royal Harbor 93 or whatever. It's just Royal Harbor. Royal Harbor. There you Royal go. Harbor or Royal Harbor 93. You know what I mean? 93, I put 93 because I, even though I was born in 75, I went to Penn in 93. So that was the <laughs> beginning of waking myself up. 
Hey, to re- to hey, realize. but the brother said the right thing. Right. You woke yourself up. Right. To That's never, what I love to, to hear. Never, to never be back in that situation again. Again, real talk. You know what real I mean, talk. I ain't want you to real pin talk. since, Jack. I That's remember right. that guard told me, yeah, see you later. I said, no, the fuck you, you won't. Hey, listen, on the real, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I ain't put too much things, but the God's honest truth is, I walked out from getting processed out, you know what I mean? Right, rolling up. What? You know what I mean? I'm going home. It was a surprise. Right before it, Straight out of Compton came out. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, oh, I'm relieved. I already missed the BT on with Ella and, and, and Ren and all that. So I'm like, man, I'll praise you to God. I get out. And as I'm walking out, he's like, right. They knew who I was. You know, mess with me. He's like, right. about a about a year. I said, no, the fuck you right. won't. Right, that's man. No, the fuck you Trying won't. Be so funny? that's the program of what they do as yeah, you're walking yeah, off. Yeah, it's right. like psychotically get a nigga to think like this is the like you're gonna be back. Is. That's that's you your know what life. I'm saying. Like, it's really had me. I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It really had me walking out like. Try to railroad me, right? Why would they say this shit? Yeah. Like, what was that like? Yeah, they I'll think see it's back funny. In the year. What the fuck you mean? They like, think that what, shit funny. Like, you know, and, and I'm young still. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, yeah, they, they gonna think they gonna try to do me because I knew right. I was gonna yeah, sit there and, and be extended on probation. So, right. yeah, that's good, man. So when you woke up in 93, Royal, you know, Royal yeah, Harbor Royal 93. 93. I woke up. That's I, right, man. I appreciate again. it. I went in 93, got out in 98, ain't been back since. That's right, brother. You know what I mean? Met Dre in 99. The rest is history. History. There you go, brother. <laughs> I appreciate you coming, man. That's yeah, nocturnal no for y'all, you know what I mean? West Coast legend. You know what I mean? And uh again, brother, you know, I appreciate it. I ain't it, the man. only so, one. You sitting right here. Why you didn't tell yourself? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, man. I appreciate <laughs> it, man. And then y'all stay tuned. You know what I mean? We'll be back with another episode of Little Easy T. Yeah, boy. Caught. Money been the motherfucking model, yeah. With 16 duck and hollow shells. My root-